success does not necessarily mean future success, but the Rockets did do a real good job against this Thunder team, not only defending against the three, but crushing them on the glass in that first matchup of the season. Misses at the cup. That's what Chet Holmgren has been really good from day one. He, he is just an incredible shot blocker as that one goes down to the Thunder. And finally, A-team is on the board as Lou Dort knocks it down. But he did defend the rim at an elite level against the Rockets earlier this season. Shingun up top, three ball, good game time. He's three-pointer. He's going to shot fake and go to the hole. He's got a beautiful shot fake. He had 21 against OKC. Did Shingun last time out. Here comes Green. Brooks is wide open. Good find. Quarter three down the hatch. There you go. Stay down on the shot fake from SGA. They can have to score over and keep him off the foul line. Lou Dort along the baseline for the midi and Gorgeous Alexander knocks it down. Did give up and good job on both ends, Jalen. Back to Giddy. And he lays it up and in as he had had. Shot clock down to three. Chen Goon, the spin, the step back, the loop, and the make at the horn. That was a thing of beauty. Shingun has to win that matchup tonight for the Rockets to have a chance in this ball game. No question about it. Dort, another one, and Luke Dort. One thing they've done really well is they develop their players. And they got a ton of young talent. Jabari in and one. That's career rebound number 1,000 and one. Holmgren had it poked away by Shingun. Mm. Rockets will push, Fred will shoot, Fred will score on his 30th birthday. That's his second three. Don't want him to get comfortable. Lock Look at him in! And then Thompson stuffed it from behind on Gilgis Alexander. Lead the break to Winmore! Slam Winmore! <laughs> Next season, they were the best in the league last year. Yeah. Keep the ball in front right here and stay down. Yeah, this Jalen Williams checks in for the other Jalen Williams. No. And it freed himself up for the layup. That will count. Coach, when, when the players play hard and they're rolling and they're bought into the game plan, and we're seeing this right now. Thompson on Giddy, the spin, the lean in, got fouled and hit the shot and won. Over the last couple of years. And the Rockets can take advantage inside. Holiday scores again. He's been even more confident in his abilities. And Oklahoma City finally scores. His eyes get big when he sees that thunder blue. Williams in the lane, bounces down. It was physical on that drive. Jabari couldn't recover. Whitmore, the crossover, the drive, and the score. There's the help, the kick. There you swing, go. The three, the main. Good, that so much better. The Rockets attacking the double team. You saw Deflected away by Smith on the cut by Holmgren. Timed it beautifully. Here comes a men. Thompson the dunk under the score. The whistle. It will count and one biggest lead. Jokic Alexander spinning on Green. Got there and put it in. I think they started the year off like one and fifty. They've been a lot better lately. Brooks over Dort. Playoff series. Rockets and Thunder. OKC and Houston are each other's most common playoff opponent, dating back to this franchise's days in Seattle. Nine different series. Just stuffed Thompson right there at the rim as he was going for the dunk. And again, if you don't get into Chet's body, that's going to happen. He will block your shot. And that's going to count. I believe you really got to play through Shingun. When the home rim's at the five, you got to make him defend because he's going to make you work on that end because he can drive it, he can shoot it. Giddy takes it away from him. It's too slow. When LP has the, the mismatch, you got to go. He's not worrying about the double team. Holmgren hoists and hits. Second three for him, early timeout. Holmgren jump pass, Gilgis Alexander the cut and the John Barry special. And you need spacing against the Thunder. As Holmgren drives, Banks misses. The rebound to Shingun because they play the passing lane so well. Fred Van Fleet with a pretty move and a pretty finish. 
It's a shot blocker, man. They're intimidated <laughs> by Fred. Seriously. I guess so. Dort got off to a great start. Here comes Green Doll. Switch to the right hand and forward it home during that time. A good pace. It stops again. Everything gets so much more free-flowing. Good patience by Gilkis Alexander. Two defenders went by him. Green again on the move. Again with the right hand. Come curl and count it. Over the top, Holmgren. Giddy got it back to Williams from the wing, and he buries the three. Now Shingun has Joe defending him. Not a great pass. Here's Gilgis Alexander. My goodness. Smith. Back out to Dort. The swing. This is a really good shooter, Joe. Got it. Shooting 43% from three, a career high. Sander just stuffed him. Green thought he, thought he got fouled, no whistle. Back comes OKC. Joe, 4-3. It's no good. There's Williams, and the Thunder have their first lead since it was 27-26 in the first quarter. Draw more attention on his drive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, indeed. Hoop for Shea Gilgis Alexander falling down, no less. In this second half, I'm going to call it right now. You need a big game from Alperen Shingun. The Rockets are really going to struggle to win this. Huge shot there. Much yep. needed from Fred Van Vliet. He's playing the dunker spot. He's making plays, and he has been incredible for us. There's no question about it. Absolutely a big-time spark. There you go. Put back plus the foul. Rockets have regained the lead. You see Jabari's got a chance here to match up with Chet. Oh, Thank you. Shot for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Comes into Joe, wide open along the baseline, gets it. That play just took two seconds. Smith from beyond midcourt. Jabari Smith Jr. The Rockets only scored 21 points in the third quarter, committed eight turnovers, and shot just seven, 25 from the floor as Chet Holmgren went up high and came down hard. By the Rockets, they were really good in the first half. He's feeling it. He is feeling it. Holmgren. See, the Ferrari forced that up. Good help by Hayward. Holmgren has seven points in the quarter. Giddy off the glass. There's Holmgren making nine in the four. It's getting away here from the Rockets. Green with a turnover. Nine to two run to start the quarter for OKC. Wallace buries the corner triple. Rockets down 14, a 30-point turnaround in this game as the Rockets at one point were up 16. Van Vliet, good, got it, just as the horn expired there on the possession. Again, the advantage, he's got to take him, go at Holmgren. Holmgren, another one, he is on fire. Of course, Oklahoma City, the cupboard is stocked full of future draft picks. Yeah. In addition to this being such a, oh my goodness, Holmgren can to that. Holmgren rising up, dunking down. My goodness. Yeah, he's putting on a show here. Absolutely. Oklahoma City led by Chet Holmgren on fire. And bench has been so much better. And it's too easy. Wide open Williams for the slam. Even more so, you got to find a way to defend. Wide open. A guy shoots about 46% from three. That was a mistake. They're, they're saying, hey, we're still developing. We're like, you guys look a whole lot better than developing. <laughs> Shin Goon, the flying stop. They made 17 threes. 50% shooting for the Thunder tonight from downtown. And one coming up for Shin Goon. The struggle was second half. The Rockets could not defend. Too easy. Final seconds ticking off. The Rockets were outscored 66-48 here in this second half. As Oklahoma City comes in here, rallies from an early 16-point deficit.